Hi boys and girls. Today we're going to read a story called We're Going on a Lion Hunt. This week we're all learning about going to new places and our math concept is position words. Now position words tell you where something's at. This story is filled with position words and it's also repetitive. That means it says some of the same things over and over. So I encourage you to follow along and say the words with me. We're going on a lion hunt is the title. That's the name of the book. Now remember, when we're hunting for something, that means we're looking for something. So we have two little girls that are the characters in the story that are hunting for a lion. The author is David Axtell. That means he wrote the book. Now remember, books have parts. This is the front cover. This is the back cover. And this is the spine. And they all have jobs, remember? The spine holds the book together. I open it up and I see my title page. We're going on a lion hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're not scared. We've been there before. So they're telling us how they're feeling. They're not scared. They look excited. They're packing their little snacks. They're going on a lion hunt and they're going to catch a big one. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no. Long grass. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Swish, swash, swish, swash. That's the sound they hear as they're moving the grass and they're going right through it. Those are the position words. Over, under, around. Telling you where something's at. We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. We've been there before. Oh no, a lake. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Splish, splash, splish, splash. And there they are. Now a lake is a small body of water. Look, they're even holding their shoes way up and the bunny. Why do you think they're holding up the shoes and the bunny way up here? That's right, they don't want them to get wet. We're going on a lion hunt. We're gonna catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no, a swamp. We know a lot about a swamp, right? We know that animals live there. A swamp is wet and muddy. Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. Squish, squash, squish, squash. I want you to think about what would it feel like to go through a swamp? We're going on a lion hunt. We're going to catch a big one. We're not scared. Been there before. Oh no, a big dark cave. What do you think's in there? Can't go over it. Can't go under it. Can't go around it. Have to go through it. In we go. Tip, toe, tip, toe. Remember when we're tiptoeing, we're wanting to be quiet. They don't know what's in there. But what is that? One shiny wet nose, one big shaggy mane. A mane is the animal's hair. Lions are known for having a big mane, kind of like how Miss Garcia has a lot of hair. Four big furry paws. <gasps> it's a lion. Look at their faces. We can't hear them, but they're going <gasps> Back through the cave we go, back we go, tip toe, tip toe. So they're leaving. I wonder why they're leaving. And look who's coming. Back through the swamp. Squish, squash, squish, squash. There are the girls and there's the lion. Back through the lake. Splish, splash, splish, splash. Now we can't hear them, but look at the girls' faces. What does it look like they're doing? They're running, but it looks like they're screaming. <laughs> Maybe their feelings have changed about this lion. Back through the long grass. Swish, swash, swish, swash. Look at all the other animals that they found. All the way home, slam the door, crash. Look at the little girl. <sighs> she's out of breath. I wonder why she's out of breath. Mm -hmm, she was running. Why do you think they were running? The idea of seeing a lion was exciting. 
But once they saw a lion, their feelings changed. They got a little bit scared. We're tired now. Tired and sleepy. Look, they have the covers pulled up over their face to protect themselves. And it says, we better catch a lion tomorrow. And that's the end. Boys and girls, think about the position words in our story. Think about where they went, how they had to go around, how they couldn't go around things, how they had to go right through it. They couldn't go up or over. And think about the girls' feelings, how they were excited, and then they saw the lion and their feelings changed. I really like that story. We're going to hear another story similar to this from Miss Andriana this week. Have a good day, boys and girls.